back, sometimes we forget that some of these people are just hardworking filmmakers just trying to earn a living. One of this year's nominees, she told me about the incredible story of courage and controversy that brought her to Hollywood. When I heard that I got nominated, it was 6.30 in the morning. I got a call on my cell and somebody called me and said, your day is going to be so much better. You just got nominated for an Oscar. And I This Sunday, wow. Cynthia Wade's wow. life could be changed dramatically. Her short documentary film, Freeheld, is up for an Academy Award. This year, it's the only nominated short made in America. And to many, Freeheld is much more than a movie. Freeheld follows the last 10 weeks of Lieutenant Laurel Hester's life. She was a police officer in New Jersey, and she was racing against the clock to leave her pension to her female life partner. She was told no because they weren't husband and wife. And it turned into a huge fight in New Jersey whether or not she could leave her pension to her same-sex partner. I'm at a point in my life where the only thing that matters is obtaining justice. Laurel and Stacy quickly became pioneers in the fight for gay marriage. Their personal struggle in New Jersey, making headlines around the world. It's in your Cynthia left her daughters, a newborn and a five-year-old, with her husband. And she moved into the couple's home to film their story. She witnessed an entire community coming together, both gay and straight, rallying around an issue some never thought they'd support. What amazes me the most is as ill as she is, she's still doing the right thing. There were many sort of straight, macho cops that normally wouldn't be considered gay activists that suddenly came to Laurel's side because they thought, well, wait a minute, this is our favorite police partner. If we're going to be able to give our pensions to our wives, let her do what she wants with her pension. Three weeks after yeah, Cynthia yeah, finished yeah. filming, Laurel lost her battle with cancer. Okay, then then nine months me. after she died, her partner of more than six more years than won the right to Officer Laurel Hester's pension. As an auto mechanic, Stacy didn't make much. But now she's no longer in danger of losing the home they built together. Think about where we were a little over two years ago, and Stacy was struggling at the auto shop, worrying that, really worrying that she was going to have to give up her house. And now to think two years later that Stacy will be walking down that red carpet with me, going to the Academy Awards. She's picked out her outfit. I have my dress. My husband's going. It's, it's, it's a thrill. It's amazing. And Cynthia is doing everything she can to savor this experience, whether it's the parties, lunches, or Oscar night itself. It's exciting. It's thrilling. It's a little terrifying. Um, searching for the right dress was a little scary. Um, but I think we're ready to so, go. Um, I think the hair guy is coming at 10 or 10.30 in the morning. So we'll have breakfast because it's probably the last thing we'll eat that day. I mean, it's kind of like a wedding day in a mm -hmm. way. And he'll come and do the hair and then the makeup person will come. And then I think at 2, the limo shows up. I have a big she and her husband uh, never dreamed they'd be spending this much money on clothes. I've never owned a pair of shoes and it had its own little sack. <laughs> <laughs> the competition will be tough in the documentary short category this year. Cynthia says it truly yeah, is an honor to be nominated, but winning would be nice too. I hope wherever she is, she can see that her very personal story is making a difference for other same-sex couples across the country. And we want to wish Cynthia the best of luck. If you want to know more about her documentary, you could visit freeheld.com.